What's going on guys? And I'm back here with another interview tonight. And tonight I'll be jo being joined by Emilio Agard. He is a six foot 170 cornerback out of St. Joseph's Prep in Pennsylvania. Another PA guy, really talented area, really talented prep football state and public high school football state. Just really talented as a whole. But yeah, he's a 2024 four-star recruit. Currently this is listed as a top 50 cornerback throughout the entire nation. Currently holds 30 offers from programs such as Alabama, Georgia, Florida State, and dozens of others. So obviously really talented. But yeah, now he's gotten hopped in here i'll invite him to join he should be able to hop in the live and we should be able to leo agger he is a six foot 170 cornerback all right there we go all right what's up going, man nothing what's much nothing much how about you i'm good how are you i'm doing well i'm doing well and, you know now that you've gotten joined here you know we can get this interview started and everything but um you know i just want to open up this interview by you know i just want to go back to the very beginning like i do with every single interview you know i just want to ask you you know um what would you really say got you started in football to begin with uh, I actually didn't like football at the start. It was my dad. So I was a my dad's a basketball guy. He's from Harlem, New York. So that's all they got. So I was playing basketball first, and then uh, I, my dad took me. It's a team called United Eagles. He took me to winter practice when I was like five, and I cried and I quit. And I was like, I don't want to do this and everything. And then he was like, Okay. And then he brought me back to the house, and he was like. You're so talented. You don't know. You can't just play basketball. You could play multiple sports. And like in the next year, I tried out for another team called Alani Eagles, and I actually liked that. I scored my first play in uh, practice. So I was like, ever since then, it was, it just went up. And um, you know, obviously, you're a cornerback. You know, how'd you really just describe your style of play as a cornerback? Uh, I'm I'm very smart. I'm very intelligent. Uh, I think I think before I do anything, and I think my IQ is better than any than anybody in the country, but I'm a very physical DB, even though I'm probably on the shorter end of the stick. Uh, very, very uh, intelligent, very twitchy, so I can get in and out of breaks, break on break on passes, and my man coverage is what I sell at. So, yeah. And um, you know, obviously you're coming from the state of Pennsylvania. You know, obviously I've talked to a few Pennsylvania guys recently. You know, it's a really talented football state and everything. But you know, just coming from you personally, you know. How would you really just describe the atmosphere of football, you know, just throughout that state? Uh, football, they, they think it's a basketball state. Football is we run, we run the state. Like, there's a bunch of players. There's a bunch of, bunch of dogs and a bunch of D1 athletes that get overlooked because we live in PA. So, because down south, they think they invented, invented football. So, like, we don't get that much love. But there's some dogs in there for sure. And, um, you know, obviously you're playing that prep football circuit. You know, obviously it's a little bit different from the public high school football circuit, but, you know, both both produces a lot of talent. You know, how would you really just describe the differences between the two? Yeah, uh, prep, I think prep is different than any uh, other private school, Catholic school. Prep is just prep. Like, I say we're like Bama. Like, we just reduce talent and we treat our players different. And it's just like a family vibe and a brotherhood and, like, we just like nobody. Nobody's like us. I just feel like we just work harder than everybody. Yeah. And um, you know, obviously going to your freshman year and everything, you know, we had that COVID shutdown and everything. You know, um, obviously it affected your freshman season and everything. You know, um, first of all, you know how much did it really affect your freshman year? You know, and um, you know how much did it really just affect the start of your recruitment? Uh, the COVID year was crazy because we only had six games and we went to state, so it was, it was kind of weird. So. We'll have a game, we'll, we'll schedule a game, and then, like, the day before, it'll get canceled because of COVID, a COVID outbreak or something. So it was, like, we were just practicing, and you would never know when you will play or not. So we basically were practicing like it was our last last practice of the year because the season could get shut down at any time. But we, we ended up in the winning states my freshman year, so that was good. For sure, for sure. And, um, you know, I just want to break down, you know, this past season just a little bit. You know, I just want to ask, you know, how would you really say this past season went for, you know, you both personally for the team as a whole? <laughs> Uh, the team as a whole, we lost in state, so we're definitely going back for blood. But me personally, it was a really good season. I, it's my, I say it's my breakout season, yeah, and it was just really great. I had three interceptions, 35 tackles, 15 pass breakups, two forced fumbles, and a punt return. So, And I only had about – I had zero touchdowns called on me, and I had about under, like, 50 catches on me, 30 catches on me. So it was it was a great season. For sure, for sure. And, um, you know, obviously we're in the midst of that off season, you know, building into your junior season and everything. But, you know, what areas of every game have you really been working on during this off season, you know, and building into that junior year? Uh, I've been working on my ball skills. I think they're not there yet. So I've just been practicing my ball skills, high playing the ball and becoming a receiver when the ball's in the air because 
sometimes I get too like worried about the receiver and I not not knowing that I have to go get the bat football. So yeah, I definitely have a lot more picks this year. And, um, you know, obviously I want to take a little bit of a shift into recruitment. You know, just a little bit. Obviously, you got that Bama shirt on. I'll ask you about yes, that. Sir. Roll tight, roll tight. For sure. I'll ask you about that in just a little just a little bit. But, um, you know, I just want to go back to that very first offer. I believe it was LSU. But, um, you know, first of all, you know, what was it like to receive that first offer? You know, and then how did that go down? It was actually crazy because I was working out with my trainer, Oliver Davis, in Georgia. And, uh I got a I got got a call from my uh, assistant coach and he's like we got a call with Temple, so I got I picked up Temple that was my first offer right after a workout. But then my trainer was like I'm about to put you on the phone with LSU. Three hours later I get LSU, so it was like basically and then I got Penn State like an hour after LSU, so it was like three in one day for my first time ever being offered. So it's crazy. And um you know obviously you pulled 27 more offers after those first three. You know what do all right. those offers really mean to you? It means a lot. This is all I ever wanted. I always ever wanted to be a top D1 recruit, and God had just put me in this place, and he thinks I can handle it. So I appreciate everything that I get and all the offers and love and everything. So it's great. And, um, you know, obviously you've still got some schools that are reaching out to you, know, you know, you know, so far that haven't pulled that offer just yet. You know, what are some of those schools that have been contacting you that haven't pulled out the offer just yet? Uh, I'll say I got every offer that I, I wanted. So I've been talking to OU, but I really got everything I wanted. And so, yeah. For, for sure, for sure. And, um, you know, obviously you've gotten to experience some of the visits so far. You know, you've gotten to schools like, you know, Clemson, Penn State, Alabama, you know, and others, you know. Um, what has that visit experience really been like for you? Uh, it was it's, – it's great. Like, I always ever dreamed of playing the, the best of the best. So Bama, Penn State everything that's just it's just amazing like I'm surprised it's like wow I'm really doing this and this is what I dreamed of like I literally have dreams with this so it was, it was it's great and um you know obviously on those visit experiences experiences you know you obviously get you get to check out the campuses talk to the coaches you know put on the uniforms and everything you know what, what's really just your favorite part of it uh the photo shoot was probably the most favorite but everybody would say but I think for me personally is when you go in the film room with the with the DB coach or the uh, head coach or the defensive coordinator and you go over film and they just show you how you fit in their defense and it, it's, it's a lot. Clemson actually put me put my highlights with their football highlights so it was great and then uh, Tennessee they actually put my highlights and showed like how I can play in their system so it's just great. I think that's my favorite part of any visits. And um, do you really have any other visits planned just yet? Yeah, I, I'll be visiting Michigan the 25th, and I'm going to try to hit Michigan State, too. So, Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just want to bring it back, just in, entering your junior year just a little bit at St. Joseph's Prep, you know. Um, oh, what, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> sorry, sorry, that, that one messed me up a little bit. But, yeah, um, yeah you know, what, what are really your goals, you know, both personally and for the team as a whole at St. Joe's Prep? Uh, our goal is, is definitely states, but – we take it day by day, and we just build a brotherhood because we're used. Everybody, we're used to getting states. We go to states almost every year, so I think we're just focusing on building our bond and getting ready for these first couple games because they are hardest. So. And um, you know, what are what are you just lo most looking forward to entering next season? Uh, I'm I'm just I don't know, I I don't know. I just I just want to see the team do good and see some players. Uh, develop and I just want to win states. That's that's pretty much it. Just want to win states. And um, you know, obviously, you've been listed as a top fifty recruit by by you know platforms like Twenty Four Seven Rivals, On Three, and everything like that. You know, what do those rankings really mean to you? Uh, me personally, is a blessing, but rankings don't really mean anything. You gotta go every, gotta go out every day, prove it. So that's what I that's what I try to do. I try to prove myself, and I feel like I'm better than that ranking ranking anyway. So it's just it's just like. Or whatever yeah. for sure for sure and um you know obviously we have nil stuff and everything you know going on right now with everything you know um how do you really hope to take advantage of nil you know during your high school career and everything and then building into college yeah uh nil you never know where it's gonna go at this point it's just all over the place so i honestly let my dad do all of that and figure that out for me because i don't want to get caught up and then oh snap something happened so I just lay back, but I'm, I feel like I definitely going to touch a lot of money when I get to college, day one. 
Definitely, definitely. And, um, you know, just looking to, at the end of your senior year and everything, you know, where do you really want to see yourself as a player, you know, and just as a leader on the field, you know, by the end of your senior year? Uh, I just want to see myself gain a lot more weight. Uh, just want to see, I just want to be perfected at every little thing and have no weaknesses going into college because that's what it, that's what the big dogs are. So. For sure, for sure. And, um, you know, just sort of close out this interview with you, you know, um, I just want to look at your college career as a whole, you know, wherever you do end up playing, you know, um, what, are, what are really your goals, you know, for your college career as a whole? I, I just really want to uh, win a national championship. That's what everybody says. Uh, that I want to be all SEC, all Pac-12, Big 12, wherever I go. I want to be a first-round draft pick. And I just – I have a lot of goals. So, yeah. That's for sure, for sure, for sure. And um, you know, first off, I just want, I just want to say, you know, a huge thank you for joining me tonight. You know, um, really want to see you doing some big things. You know, entering your junior year, and you know, wherever you do end up playing college football, I know I'm see you on the big time field. But yeah, really, really appreciate you for joining me, man. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. They're tripping. I, I, Real time. Thank you for joining me, and um, you know, thank you to everyone for joining me, and I'm happy going, man. All right, bye. Nice to meet you.